Today, we are unboxing the RDK X5 development board from D Robotics. I know it's made for AI projects and it's said to run models like YOLO smoothly, but I am not sure what accessories or parts are included. Let's open the box and take a look. Here we go. First up, the RDK X5 case. Next, the RDK X5 development board itself. And finally, the RDK stereo camera module. The packaging looks awesome. It's organized and I love how everything is boxed individually. So first, let's go through each component in detail and then we will start the assembling. Let's start with the D-Robotics RDK X5 development board. The RDK X5 is a powerful upgrade over the RDK X3 designed for high performance AI and robotics tasks. While the X3 features a quad core Cortex A53 CPU and 5 tops AI performance, the RDK X5 doubles both with an 8 core Cortex A55 and 10 tops. The RDK X5 also aids a GPU with 32 G flops, offers more memory up to 8 GB and significantly improves USB connectivity with four USB 3.0 ports. It supports Bluetooth 5.4, PoE-enabled Gigabit Ethernet, and includes advanced I.O. like Gain FD and a 3.5 mm audio jig. For developers, the RDK X5 excels in running large language models with up to 14B parameters and achieves 220 FPS with YOLO V8 and models far beyond the X3's 34 FPS. These enhancements make the RDK X5 ideal for demanding AI vision, robotics, and edge computing applications. This looks nice. The board has a strong build, and I like how neat the layout is. Feels premium for sure. Wow, this board is loaded. So many components in such a small space. It's pretty big. So many chips, ports, and connectors tightly fitted on the small board. Let's go through all its interfaces one by one. USB Type-C for powering the board. It requires a 5 volt 5 amps power adapter for supplying power to the board. Once the adapter is connected, the green power indicator and the orange indicator will light up, indicating normal power supply. RTC battery interface. Easy connect port. Another USB Type-C port for extra connection. Micro USB debug serial port. Dual MIPI camera ports. Gigabit Ethernet port with PoE. Four USB 3.0 Type A ports. High speed KN FD interface for communication with automotive or industrial devices. 40 pin GPIO interface. HDMI display interface. It supports a maximum resolution of 1080p. It also supports a real time display of camera and network stream images. Headphone jack. It works with multiple audio standards. Onboard Wi Fi antenna. Micro SD TF card slot. It is recommended to use a card with at least 16 GB of storage to meet the installation requirements of Ubuntu and related packages. LCD display interface MIPI DSI. Next up, the RDK stereo camera module. D-Robotics RDK Stereo Camera is a binocular depth camera designed for RDK X5. It uses two 2 megapixel color cameras and is equipped with dual 22-pin MIPI interface outputs. It's built for AI vision tasks like depth and stereo vision. Using SC230 AI chip and SmartSense Smart Clarity 2 technology, it provides excellent day plus night imaging effects. Night imaging requires additional purchase of fill light. The sensor size is 1 by 2.8 inches and the lens has an aperture of f2.2. Resolution is 1920 by 1080p. The camera has a base focal length of 2.28 mm 
and a wide field of view 178 degrees. It keeps distortion low less than minus 30% which means a cleaner image. It supports hardware synchronization and communicates over I2C with addresses 0x30 and 0x32. Reset B control is low active. This is perfect for AI vision applications such as depth vision and stereo vision. Stereo vision works by taking two images at the same time and using the difference between them to see depth, just like how our eyes do. Depth vision is the result of stereo vision. It gives a 3D map of the scene showing how far each object is. Next up, the Arctic X5 case. The Arctic X5 case is a sturdy full metal Blake enclosure designed for the D-Robotics Arctic X5 development board. Its durable construction provides excellent heat dissipation helping to keep the board cool and extend its lifespan. The case has precisely placed openings for easy access to ports. The Arctic X5 development board is now completely ready. Next, we need to flash the operating system onto the SD card, so let's do it. First, you need to visit this page. I will also add the link in the video description. Anyway, scroll down until you find the image download section and click on the download image. Go to the system download page for version 3.0.0. Download the RDK X5 Ubuntu 22 pre installed desktop 3.0.0. After downloading, Extract the Ubuntu system image file. Next, download and install the Belena HR software. We will use this software to flash the image file onto the micro SD card. So let's go ahead and open the software. Click on Flash from File. Browse to the location where you extracted the operating system image file, select it, and click Open. Next, click on Select Target. I have already inserted the micro SD card into my laptop, so I will select it. Finally, click the flash button. As you can see, the operating system has been successfully flashed onto the micro SD card. Insert the micro SD card into the micro SD card slot on the Arctic X5 development board. The system is initializing in the background, setting up all necessary processes and getting everything ready for use. You don't have to do anything, it handles everything automatically. Also, I didn't have to do anything and I'm already on the desktop. Seriously, I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought I would have to go through multiple steps, but it booted directly to a desktop. Amazing. Let's connect the RDK X5 development board to the Wi-Fi. Here you can see it has displayed the available Wi-Fi networks. So I'm going to click on my Wi-Fi network. As you can see, it has successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network. I tried some browsing and played a few YouTube videos. Everything ran super smooth. Its interface is quite similar to the Arctic X3 board, so I won't repeat the explanation here. This was just a quick guide to get your Arctic X5 up and running. Personally, I really like the D-Robotics Arctic X5 development board because first, it is compact in size, completely portable, and quite affordable as well. So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode. And thanks for watching.